So it's been a little while since I've uploaded a makeup video and I wanted to do another kind of bridal style look. So something that was a classy look. This one in particular focuses very much on sculpting your features and it's a little bit more than what I wore on my actual wedding. I went very, very natural, but it was definitely something that I was toying with for the wedding. So if you're looking for bridal ideas or even just beautiful classy makeup to wear to events in the springtime, like silly season is coming up. So we've got spring racing, we've got lots of afternoon events coming up and this I think is just a perfect look to take you from day to night, especially because the colors are quite natural, it's very long lasting and long wearing, but also when it gets closer to the evening you've got this kind of feature eyeliner that takes it very much into an evening look. Let's get started. So to prep my face, I'm going to start with a little bit of serum. I'm currently loving the Ulla Henriksen Transform Plus range, and this is a Retin Alt Power Serum. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of this kind of all over my skin, and it does give a little bit of a sort of purple glow to my skin, which I think is actually quite nice under this makeup. Then I'm going to skip all the primers and all that jazz and I'm going to go in with some moisturizer and some concealer mixed together. I don't know why I've been loving this lately but I'm just really enjoying what this is doing to my skin and it's actually really long lasting. So I'm using the Charlotte's Magic Cream Instant Turnaround Moisturizer. I'm just going to grab a little dollop of that and pop that into the palm of my hand like that. Then I'm using the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer by A Cosmetics and I'm using the color Medium Tan. I'm just gonna get a little squirt of this. This is actually what I did as the base of my wedding makeup and it lasted all day. It didn't look too heavy during the day, which was really helpful, but then even into the night when we were partying and drinking champagne and eating cake, uh, it was still looking fresh and good. So I've really enjoyed doing this rather than putting on a bunch of foundation. So before I crease up under my eyes too much, I'm gonna get some of the Bye Bye Pores by It Cosmetics. This is like a translucent powder that I am so obsessed with. It is life-changing. It literally actually hides your pores. <laughs> and look how cute my new brushes are. Check it out, I got a whole new set of brushes from Glam by Manicare. And they've got these really cute handles because it's a collaborate with Beck and Bridge, I believe. Yes. And the cool thing about them is that they actually tell you what they're all for. So on this one, it says powder, contour, foundation. So <laughs> if you're a beginner, it's uh, really handy to have that as a bit of a guide. This is your crease brush. But I'm going to use my eyelid brush here because I just want a small kind of brush so I have a bit of control of where I'm going to put this translucent powder. So I'm going to start here in the inner under corner of my eye and I'm bringing that right down the side of the nose. I get very shiny here in this little crease area of the nose. So I go kind of nuts with all the translucent powder there and here is where I have kind of my main pores. So I'm putting that all under there, all there. And I'm only bringing that out a bit because I want it to prevent the concealer from creasing under my eyes, which it will do. Then I'm also bringing that into the inner corner there and up right under the eyebrow. Because I find that if I put a little bit of translucent powder on the eyebrow, it actually helps with the application of my eyebrow pencil in a minute. So now that I've got my base on and it's looking nice and pore free, I'm gonna go straight onto the eyebrows. So what I'm gonna do is grab this brow silk kit from Iconic London. And it's basically like a toothbrush and a little, like a, I don't even know how to explain this, like a really hard gel. So I'm just gonna focus on these inner parts here 
and I'm gonna brush them up just to give them a bit of that bushy feel. Here we go. And the rest I'm just going to pencil in in a nice clean classy way. I don't want this look to be too messy really. I'm going to go in with this tiny little brow crayon here. It's Anastasia Beverly Hills and the first color I'm using is Auburn. I'm going to use this to kind of uh, create almost like a template, like a little base for my brow and get the right shape going. And then I switch to the chocolate color to do a little bit more like individual hairs and give it a bit more texture so it looks more realistic rather than like drawn on eyebrows. So as you can see, I'm kind of elongating my brow at the end there because I do want this look to be very neat and very structured, but elongating the brow a little bit on the end there is going to make my eyes look a lot bigger once I'm done. Then here towards the center of the brow, I just do really light little strokes. And rather than working that way, I'm going boop. Then I'm going to come back in with my translucent powder and just tap that there under the brow bone and above. Then I'm going to set the brows with this little brow gel here. This is the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit Cosmetics. It's clear, so I'm just going to grab my little eyebrows there and just do a sort of gentle brush sort of in that outward direction like that. All right, I'm gonna move on to the eyes. So I'm going to pick up this palette here. This is the Tarte Cosmetics Clay Play Eye and Cheek Palette. It's volume two. And what I wanna do is grab this color here. So anything that you've got, ooh, look at the reflection. <laughs> That's what I'm looking at. <laughs> anything that you've got that is kind of this ivory pale white color in your favorite eyeshadow will do but I just want to grab a bit of that on a blending eyelid brush and go straight in from the center here. I'm going to tap that all the way onto my eyelids, but focusing primarily on the inner corners. And I'm going, if you can see, onto the side of the nose there as well, right up under the eyebrow. So I want to lighten all of this up. And I'm taking that same color and putting it down the side of my nose like that and even into my little nostril crease. So if you can see there, I'm lightening up the side of my nose like that. And this is beginning the start of the sculpting process. So this is kind of the eyeshadow, but also I'm blending it into the nose, which is going to really help me contour the nose. So this is kind of why I prefer not to do a full foundation because I do actually end up with a lot of coverage, but just in um, sort of certain areas. And because I don't want to look too cakey, I think it's best to start with something quite light and build. This is not how you expected me to use eyeshadow, is it? Now on top of this lighter eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with my pressed foundation. So this is the Studio Fix by MAC and the color is NC25. It's just a pressed powder there. You can see I use this quite a lot. And with this same small brush here, I'm going to go over that just to make this blend with my skin tone a bit better. So now I'm picking up my little crease brush here and I'm using this contour palette here from Dior. It's the Dior Backstage range and uh, it's just called 001 Universal. I'm using this color here, which is kind of a gray sort of looking color. It doesn't have too much redness or saturation in it. And I'm going to very lightly take that and I'm gonna start in the creases of my eyes. The biggest trick with these kind of makeup looks is not to go too heavy. I love this brush because what you can do is apply it like this with a bit more definition and then when you're blending you turn it sideways and you've got a broader surface space there to just blend it all out. So the next thing I'm going to do is take this same crease brush here and place it right under my brow there and I'm just going to 
very lightly bring that down from the inner part of my brow see that see how suddenly you've got a very defined start of the nose there so I want to bring that down all the way and I will end up defining that line down the center of the nose, but I'm just going to leave that as is for the time being. So I'm coming back to the creases here, and I want to define them a little bit more. So I'm going to go in with this terracotta color down here. This is actually intended for cheeks, but I love using products in places where they're not supposed to be used. So I'm going to further define this and create a little bit of a natural colored eyeshadow. I'm going to take that same terracotta color with a small little brush and tap that onto the under part of my eye, my lower shadow like that. What I'm going to do for a little bit of fun is get this color here. It's called Smoke. It's still super neutral, but it's got a little bit of shimmer to it. So I'm just going to tap that on there with my finger. Just do it on the center there. It creates a little bit more of a bulbous effect on your eye, like a 3D effect. And before I move on, I actually want to highlight that inner corner a little bit more with the solstice, this color that I started with. I think it could use a little bit of lightening. Next up, I'm going to take this little tub of like shimmer powder. It's actually called luster dust. So I'm just going to take that and literally place it right there in the inner corners of the eyes. All right, so this look is going to be all about the line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm using one of these sort of felt tip liquid liners. They've got a really precise tip like that there. And the reason I haven't really done the rest of my face is because I need to sort of do this, like elongate my eye like this. Take some deep breaths, get yourself mentally prepared, physically ready to apply the liner. So what I like to do is hold the pen like this, very flat towards the eye. Do not approach like this. That is going to be a wobbly disaster. And then I'm going to start on the inner part right where my lashes start. And I start by drawing a very thin line. I switched liners because that first one wasn't really working too well to the tattoo liner. I think this is from Kat Von D. Then I'm going to start to build. And what I want is right above my pupil, I want to get a little bit more thickness going with the line. Towards the outer part, I'm just drawing a little line outwards. I'm definitely going to elongate this. Then I'm going to draw a tiny little guideline up towards the outer part of my brow. Like that. See that? Now I need to meet that to that. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, and that is pretty much as far out as I want to bring that wing. For me, because I have like a crease on my eyes there, if I smile and if I were to bring a wing out like way further than that, it when I'm smiling, it looks like the wing is kind of like creased and poking in odd directions. So for me, I like to just really follow that line of the eye there. And I don't want to bring it out too far so that even when I'm smiling, it's not totally creased and bent. I'm not sure if you get what I'm talking about, but if you've done like a wing liner before, and you went a bit too nuts with it and like brought it way out you probably know what I'm saying then what I'm gonna do is get a white eyeliner crayon and do the bottom okay now to the fun stuff so I have some choices here these are the two new luxe lashes from glam by manicare you've got the Camilla and the Ariana the Ariana looks like it's gonna work with this vibe a lot because it's got that see that cat eye kind of style I've not tried these before because they are brand spanking new but I'm very excited so I typically pick up my lashes from the outer corner and sort of slowly and carefully peel it off then I give them a little wiggle like that to make them sort of be able to mold onto the actual shape of your eye so I always wiggle them and now I just quickly check to see if I need to cut them I typically do yes I do 
So I'm going to grab these and some scissors. Ah, here we go. And I'm just going to cut off about a half a centimeter towards the inner corner there. You can switch up whether you cut the outer corner or inner corner depending on what kind of lash you have. If you do the inner corner, you typically have a longer lash. If you do the outer corner, you can actually make the lash look a bit smaller and less dramatic, but we're going for dramatic today. Cover the whole lash strip in some glue. And now my little secret trick with lashes is that I actually place them a little bit further out than my eye. Now obviously when you're doing a liner like this you can do that because you can't really tell where your eye actually ends. So I'm going to line that up there and this is really going to enhance the shape of my eye because it's just going to look bigger than it really is. Then I'm going to use these tweezers and sandwich these lashes from the inner corner with my actual lashes. Oh, I like them. And that is the lashes in place. What do you think? I love the shape. Okay, so what I like to do is after I've put a strip lash on, I actually like to blend that little, see how sometimes the strip where the glue is can be a little bit like shiny? So I like to get like a really matte eyeliner crayon and just color over that. And to finish off the lashes, I'm going to grab a little bit of mascara and just blend them with my lashes. You don't have to do this. A lot of people don't put mascara on their falsies, but I like to do it because it just makes them feel a bit more secure and they're not going anywhere for the rest of the day. Right here, yeah. so I'm going to go in with some bronzer. This is the Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer and I'm using this little contour brush here. I'm just going to tap a bit of that and push back the hair there and then really lightly just dust around my forehead into my hairline and then I tap it in towards the cheek like that. Then I come in under the ear back here and under the jawline. See the difference? Boop, 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 boop. And I'm actually going to contour here down towards my neck as well. Then I'm going to use this big powder brush here and this ColourPop. It's like a really cute peach, really light pink kind of blush. So I'm just going to take a light dusting of that and across the nose, I'm barely touching that. And then on the apples of the cheeks, get a little bit of rosiness going on. Now for the finishing touches, which make all the difference, I'm going to come back in with this little ColourPop Luster Duster pot and I'm going to do a very thin line whoop, right in the middle of my nose. So I'm drawing a little dot there and a little dot there. Now I'm grabbing my crease brush again and I need the little, aha, this little Dior palette. And again with this color here that I've been using to contour my nose, I'm going to contour under my lips. So I just grab that and brush it alongside there. Just underneath. Do not do it on top, it will look like a mustache. Then I'm getting this really nice highlight palette here. This is the Luminous Powder Palette from Iconic London. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of that on this nice fan brush. And under the eye there, just give that a little bit of a dust. And then I get whatever's left on that and just run it over the top lip. See how that highlights it a bit there on the cupid's bow? I'm going to do a tiny little bit under the brow bone. I know I said I don't want too much shine or illumination, but a little bit isn't going to hurt. And I'm going to finish off with a nude lipstick. This one is from Napoleon Purtis. It is called the Matte-tastic Lipstick in Sophia. So. I'm gonna lighten this up even more with a tiny, ooh, way too much, tiny little dollop of my concealer. 
And there you have it. So that is the look totally done. This is definitely one of my favorite looks to do at the moment because it's so versatile. It's so fresh and wearable. You can definitely wear it to daytime events as well as nighttime events. And it's just kind of classy. Like it doesn't look too overdone, but everything looks neat and tidy and sort of classically sculpted. So I'm loving what the sculpting is doing to my features. Definitely has sort of slimmed out my face a bit there and given me those high cheekbones then I've got the nose contour going on there defining all of that and then by bringing that liner up in the center there it's definitely made my eyes a bit more of a feature piece and then you can do smizes like this <laughs> if you so choose <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this look and the little tips and tricks that I share along the way. If you have any feedback or any tips that you want to share with me, please leave them in the comments down below. And if there's any looks that you want to see from me, also let me know because I'm always playing around with the different looks and different ideas. I definitely steer towards the wearable and achievable kind of makeup looks. I'm not, you know, doing rainbow colored eyes or anything like that. And that's just because I like to do the makeup looks that I genuinely like to wear outside. <laughs> Not just in the comfort of my little studio zone. <laughs> if you do try this look, let me know how you go with it. And please, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video.